you've never seen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Daniel and Kimberly Craig. trial and error really yeah. to learn to be funny you just got to go and keep trying things and you know you realize very quickly what's what people find not oh, funny yeah. so. you did a lot of improv training and yeah, a, lot of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of improv a little bit of stand-up you know it's with a stroller stop pushing that kid around what have they ever done to you my personal favorite Now don't put your daughter in front of you like a meat shield. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to whip this machete at you like this with a bunch of spin. That would be crazy. The crowd was going nuts. It was such a great performance. I want to know a bit about your training, though. Like, your acrobatics. Your, I can see you guys probably are great dancers as well. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I have a background. When I was uh, younger, I did figure skating for a long time. And then I kind of snowballed into circus. So I have circus background. And uh, we both have... You started really young. I started doing circus when I like 10 years ago, and it's a lot of acrobatic and contortion and uh, like yeah, handstand training. Awesome. It was amazing. And for yourself, what kind of training do you have? Well, honestly, I'm a terrible dancer. Yeah. To be completely honest with you, I rely on Kim to make me look really good in that respect. <laughs> uh, no, I just um, I started at circus when I was 10 years old. I started with like juggling and, and you know it, it kind of went up from there. But I always grew up in athletics, so I always uh, you know wanted hockey. to keep. Yeah, I played a lot of hockey, of course. You know, as every young Canadian child does but uh, you know I wanted to keep being athletic as I got older and, and this was a great way to do it but we spend a lot of time in the gym we train with a lot of different coaches uh, we, we travel to train as well as perform so yeah, Canada has a lot of really great circus schools so when, while we're traveling we try to make time to hit up a bunch of those schools and keep the training up because you gotta yeah you gotta keep the training up if you want to keep performing. Exactly. And I'm curious, is this how you guys met or how did you meet? They're a married couple too, if you guys didn't know that. Yep. So we were both doing different shows. He was doing a solo show and I was doing a show with two other girls. We were doing an aerial show and uh, we met at, for one summer we just had almost every festival together, which was really unusual and we spent a lot of time together and got to know each other. And, and there you yeah. go. <laughs> and then yeah, we made a show together so we could see each other more often yeah. and it, it worked out really well. Amazing. So is this going to be the rest of your life together? Like, is this what your goal and dreams are? Well, I mean, you know, it's the only job I've ever had. I've been doing it for 21 years. Kim's been doing it for 10 herself, you know. Wow. Uh, like I said, I started when I was 10, and, I, you know, I... For me, it was like, do I want to go be a computer programmer or do I want to do this? And this, this is way more fun. fun. Yeah, and uh, we do, we both do a lot of, uh, like we do all sorts of different things. So we work in circuses and we work on cruise ships and we do theater shows. But doing street shows is something that's so, it was a, both of our starts and it's really important to us. Well, we really hope you guys come back. You're amazing. Thank you. And if people want to find you online, do you have a website, Facebook page? Where can we find you? Thestreetcircus.com or you can find us at The Street Circus on Facebook as well. And people watching this elsewhere, look them up and see if they're coming to a place near you because honestly, I had such a great time watching them. Boys and girls, Vixer is finished. One, two, three. Yeah!